Hello, everyone, and welcome to the PAT. I am your host, Pat Gunther. Today, we touch on LSU football's most recent scandal, Rex Ryan and the D, Max Scherzer getting Benjamins, and NASCAR drivers dating alleged professional assassins. So strap on those cleats, because it is time for the PAT. Flynn will hold, and it's a fake. They give it to David, and he heads for the corner. Touchdown, LSU! All right, all right, folks, let's get into it with First Down. Here on First Down, the Washington Nationals shelled out a seven-year, $210 million contract for former Tiger Cy Young winner Max Scherzer this past week. The Inc. makes Scherzer the 10th highest paid player in MLB history and the second highest paid pitcher behind the Dodgers, Clayton Kershaw. Though former teammate Justin Verlander has been rumored to date Kate Upton, Scherzer's bank account numbers give him the slighter edge on coolest pitcher not named Clayton Kershaw. Though it's only a matter of time before the Tigers frontman and Scherzer's Yoda cashes out himself. On to second down here. Moving on to the league where they pay for play, the Buffalo Bills have announced the, the hire of former New York Jets head coach and passionate snack enthusiast Rex Ryan. Ryan might be a good find for the struggling AFC East bottom feeders, but at the team's press conference introducing Rex, one reporter asked a uh, awkward question. How much are you salivating to get your hands on that D, and what is it going to look like next year? Um, how are you going to mold that unit? The only time asking someone if they're salivating to get their hands on that D is appropriate is when you're talking to a group of stoned college freshmen who are tracking their delivery order on dominoes.com. Pretty much any question besides that would have been better, just off the top of my head. Hey, Rex, how excited are you that the pizza finally got here? Or, hey, Rex, is it true that you forced your son to become a delivery driver so you could get discounted breadsticks? The options are honestly endless, but that's not the craziest thing we've seen happen this week. Not even close. Moving on to the hometown team here, an LSU shoe store employee was carted off in the paddy wagons last week for refusing to give up the name of a football player who sold his game-use cleats on eBay. Now, Fletcher Sanders, a 25-year-old Baton Rouge native, has clearly been binge-watching episodes of The Wire on HBO Go and figured he'd eat the charge before snitching. That's such a stringer bell move, so kudos to you, Fletch. And for those of you who sympathize with my man locked up in EBR, please, no cakes or small rock hammers. They'll be confiscated upon entry, or so I've been told. Regardless, though, it's time for fourth down. And fourth down here is especially bizarre this week because rumored abusive NASCAR driver Kurt Busch has uh, alleged something pretty crazy. Uh, Kurt Busch states that his former girlfriend Patricia Driscoll is a trained assassin. Uh, Busch cites an incident while the couple was in Texas this past year where Driscoll left in the hotel in the dead of night wearing nothing but camouflage and returned in an overcoat and blood splattered white dress. So either Busch has taken too much acid while binge watching Tarantino movies or he's just heard of the flick Mr. and Mrs. Smith which would explain a whole lot in this instance. But Either way, Kurt, that's a pretty crazy allegation, so I'm going to say that the extra point here is no good. Moving on to the talk of the town, LSU's number nine ranked baseball team is finally ready to get the ball rolling on their 2015 campaign. Junior shortstop Alex Bregman has been working hard over in the box facilities in preparation for the Tigers season opener against Kansas on February 13th. I met with Bregman over in college baseball's greatest stadium after the team's media day to see what he was up to now that classes and the season are finally starting back up. TTV Sports, Pat Gunther here with Alex the Ocho Bregman, my main man. How's it going? Doing great. How are you? You look good. I'm nice doing haircut. Well. Yeah, I got a fresh cut. Dog. I actually outsourced my haircuts to New Jersey. An Italian barber by the name of Frank. Frank shouts out the haircuts. Looking good. But got a couple to, questions to ask you. I had to get a new one, too, myself for the, the season. The lettuce is looking good, though, man. Hanging out the back. I like no it. No biggie. They call it flow where I'm from. And okay. Have some, so Speaking of where you're from, Albuquerque, New Mexico, your favorite season of Breaking Bad, which one? Uh, never watched Breaking Bad. Everyone always comes up to me you and asks me it, about it. Yeah, I've been there, done that. You know, but um, no, 
it's it's uh, it's very popular now. And yeah. like, everyone's talking to me about it. Everyone says, "Oh, it's my favorite show," and I've never even seen it. So. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It's all the last episode. That was pretty much it. But, oh. Yeah, but other about, than that, that's about right. Out of yeah. You. So coming from Mexico, you pick LSU. Why not some of the West Coast schools? Something like that. Why LSU? Um, honestly, to be honest with you, um, just the the best. Uh, the best fans, the best coaching staff, best teammates I could ask for. Um, and looking back on it, it was the best decision I ever made in my life to come here. So it's just, it's been such a blast since I've been here. And, I mean, I, I can't have more fun than I've already had. So hopefully this year we'll, uh, we'll end with a win in Omaha. I can dig that. And obviously, other than LSU, Baton Rouge has a lot to offer. So my question for you, you've been here three years. Favorite place to eat in, in the Rouge? Ooh, my favorite place to eat... <laughs> To be honest with you, probably walk-ons. I walk love their hamburger. Nice. I like their hamburger. Okay. It's good. I eat it probably once a day. Okay. Uh, they go there every day. It is bulking season, so. Yeah, trying to put go. on some weight, so. Hey, I can dig it. All right. Like it. And so, last movie you saw. Don't know if you have much time for movies, but what's the last movie you saw? The Wedding Ringer. Hilarious. Really? Everybody needs to see that movie. Are I'm you, telling you right is now. Is this a plug for Kevin hilarious. Hart? Oh. It's my guy. It, okay, but we're, we're the same height, so I can dig guy. it. Very nice. That's my guy. Okay, so uh, wedding ringer. If you weren't a baseball player, what would you be? Would you be an actor? You got you got the chops for it. I'd probably be a wedding ringer, to be honest okay. with you. Okay. All right. Hey, if you're ever looking for a partner, I'm, I'm done oh, in oh, <laughs> Got you. No doubt. So I'm gonna play a little game with you here. Uh, you're gonna finish my sentence. I'm just gonna say whatever comes to mind. Finish the sentence. If cool. if Coach Maneri had a walk-up song, it would be. Mm. Um, this is a good one. I don't know. I, I can't. I, I can't answer that. That's, I'm gonna go ahead and say though. "Sexual Healing" by Marvin oh, Gaye. That's a good one. That that's is a pretty good, good one. one. That's nice. That's nice. Good touch. Louis in Baton Rouge is delicious. A great, what do you great breakfast spot. Just. I actually switch it up a lot. I switch it up a lot. I don't know. I, I like to I like to change up what I'm eating for breakfast. Now, lunch, hamburger every time. I can take that. But breakfast, gotta switch it up. So your, what are you listening to? Practices, game days. What do you got on the iPod? A lot of Kevin Gates. That's pretty much okay. it. I've, I've gotten uh, I've gotten addicted to Kevin Gates since I've been in Louisiana. Absolutely. And I mean. If he ever wants to uh, have a concert for our team, you're very welcome, Kevin Gates, to, to, to do that. And uh, I don't get tired. Nor do I. You heard it here first. So, one last thing for you. Tiger TV's Pat Gunther is... Oh, the man. He's a, he's a grinder. He's, 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 he's the man. So you heard it here first. We're out Follow here every day. Twitter. Follow him on Twitter. At Pat Gunther, my man, Alex Bregman. F throw him a couple follows. At Abreg underscore one. He'll slide into those DMs, though. You better be careful. Maybe. I might. Okay. All right. Yeah. Maybe. Well, for TTV Sports and the Ocho right here, I'm Pat Gunther. Well, folks, unfortunately, that is our show for this week. Thanks again for tuning in to the first of hopefully many episodes of the PAT. You can catch more clips on lsurevely.com slash TigerTV and follow my random musings on Twitter at Pat Gunther. Thanks for watching, folks.